Hi guys, welcome back to another episode on Power BI. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a monthly warranty reporting dashboard using cross-join in Power BI. Usually in product-based company, the management wants to understand what is the warranty obligation for a certain period and plan the budget according to the failure rate of the product. With the help of some sample data, let's try to understand how it actually works. Let's move to Power BI. So here is the file and I have uh, some sample data. So I have three tables. The first table is warranty information, which contains the device information and the warranty start and the end period. And the second table, we have the failures. And in the third table, we have a calendar. So I'll be using this calendar to create a cross join with the warranty info and then create a reporting technique out of uh, these two tables and then later join the failure table to see the month on month trend of the failures. So let me quickly show you how the data looks like. So the first set of data is warranty info. As you can see here, we have serial number and the warranty start month and end month. So if you notice here, the first three serial number, we have a one year warranty. So Jan till December, the, uh, the remaining two serial numbers, they have just six months warranty. So Jan till June, okay. And then going back to the other data set, we have failures. So there are like a couple of serial number where there was a failure. So you can see uh, serial number one failed in April, serial number three failed in Feb, etc. And the calendar is just a flat uh, table where we have the period starting from Jan till December. So I'll be using this calendar to create a, a cross join or partition product with the warranty info. So that has a first step. What I'm going to do is uh, create a new table. Let me name this table as a fact reporting table. So first what I'll do is I'll create a cross join between the warranty information table and the calendar table, cross join, warranty info, and the calendar. Okay, so, so the warranty info table multi, gets multiplied with the calendar. So basically you will have 12 entries for each serial number. So if I filter out for one serial number, let's say one. So you will see the month code appearing from Jan till December. So basically there are 12 entries. In this table, there was only one entry serial number. And when I created a cross join, so basically it created 12 entries pertaining to each month. So the next step is I need to decide whether a particular device is under warranty, has on a particular period or not. Let me give you an example of serial number four. So in this case, usually the warranty uh, ends on June. So by July, all the uh, entries over here should be considered as a out of warranty or invalid. So what I'll do is I'll write a function. I'll add a, a new column. So let me write a formula here, function, add columns. Okay. And then I will write a function to decide whether that particular product is under product serial number is under warranty or out of warranty. So I'll call this as warranty status. And then I will write a function to check the warranty status as on a particular month. So here, what I'm gonna write is I will be comparing the calendar month with the warranty start and end date. So what I'll do is bring this calendar month code is greater than or equal to warranties start month. The next condition is 
calendar month code is less than or equal to warranty and month code. Okay. So I get either true or false. Just give it a second. So you can see, right? So has on Jan, it's, it's, it is showing us true because uh, the warranty starts on Jan and it's still under warranty. Same goes for Feb, it's, warranty, it's under warranty. Until June, it's under warranty. From July, this turns out to be out of warranty because the warranty end month is June. So anything after that will be out of warranty. So which says is false. So for me to create a uh, warranty reporting uh, tool or a report, I need to just pick the ones which are valid. So I need to filter out for the true ones. So what I'll do is I'll apply a filter here. Filter where warranty status equal to true. Hit enter. So now this table is filtered out only for those devices which are under warranty. So we are done with our first step. So the next step is I need to bring in the failures and combine this with our fact reporting table. So what I'll do is I'll create a new column here. Let me name this column as key equal to, I'll use a concatenate function. I will combine serial number Let me use a separator and then with the month code. So I have a key now. Okay, so now I'll go back to the model here. So what I will do is, I don't need this table. I'll just move this to the side, bring this here. And then I will join this with my failure table using a key. So I have already created a key in the failures table. So you can see here. So we have a key in this table. And again, we have a key in this table. So we have created a join. And now I'll go here and then try to visualize as a reporting system. So what I'll do is I'll just create a, probably a matrix here. Okay, let me drag it to, I'll bring in the month code from the reporting table. Okay. And then I want to see the, the number of devices under warranty. So let me build a new measure. number of devices, number of, I'll call it as number of warranty devices equal to do a distinct count of serial number from the reporting table. Let's give it a second. Okay, so let me bring this to the values. So we have the number of warranty devices. I'll do the same thing for the failures. So I need the number of failures. So let me create a new measure here. Number of failure is equal to, I can use. In this case, I'll use count. Hit enter.
let me bring this here. And we have the results here. Let's cross check. So in the month of Jan, there were like five devices under warranty. So let's go to this table and let's check the actual data. So if you see here, the warranty info table. So there are like five devices that starts in the month of Jan and some of them end in June and few end in December. So there are like five devices under warranty. So the numbers are correct here, okay? And then after June, let's say July till December, we have only three devices because out of this five devices, two devices, the warranty period ends on June. So basically we will have only three devices for the remaining of the months. And that's what you see here. So remaining months, same thing goes for the failures. Let's let's take April. So we have five devices under warranty and there were already two failures. So let's check for the month of April in the failures table. So as you can see here, we have one and two. So there are two failures for the month of April. And that's what you are seeing here. Based on this data or this visualization, the management can take a decision saying, okay, for the upcoming months, there are so many install base, active install base or products under warranty. And then you might end up having so many failures. So you need to plan your budget accordingly. So this is how actually it works in most of the companies. I hope this video was helpful. And please drop me a comment if you have any further doubts or clarification. And have a good day. Thank you.